Kylian Mbappe, a player who many people think is the very best player in the world, a player who the French citizens adore as a hero, and a player who potentially PSG fans might loathe at the moment and see as a villain. Why is that? Well, PSG have put up Mbappe for sale, and this contract standoff situation reached the boiling point with PSG. According to Fabrizio Romano, they're done. He has been left out of the preseason tour in Japan. PSG have basically come to a decision, according to Fab, saying that they think that he has already agreed a free deal, free contract agreement with Real Madrid once his contract expires and once he's a free agent. According to Fabrizio, they wanted a new deal or leave now by July 15th, and there was just radio silence. And now he's for sale. He's for sale starting today. Uh, yes, she, they feel like he wants to leave in 2024 on a free when his contract expires at the end of the season. And basically, they have eat Real Madrid to the punch uh, in the sense that they have said, well, listen, we're putting him up for sale. Um, of course, should a deal be brokered with Real Madrid, PSG has no leverage anymore, really. But this kind of strikes me as a signal like, hey, anybody who wants Mbappe, please, please bid for him. Now, what are the possibilities? I'll run you through everything. Let's start with the wages. But before we get into the wages, if you're enjoying the content on the channel, consider giving the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more football news, transfer news, and football content. A lot of exciting stuff coming. Got a surprise on Sunday, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, let's get into their wages. Um, also, comment below. I want to know what people are saying. Um, do you think that this deal for Mbappe will get resolved this summer? This deal being the deal with Real Madrid. Or do you think that Mbappe is going to basically say, yeah, I'm not going to move. I'm not going to agree to any contract. I'm going to run it down on a free and leave to Madrid at the end of the season. Or do you think PSG accept the bid and Mbappe's head gets turned to go somewhere else? There are some possibilities for other places. I'm going to stick with Real Madrid for this video, but quickly, let me just get through the other possibilities. Um, Man City is some thing that I saw somebody suggest today online and I don't think he would go there just because Holland and Mbappe are this generation's Ronaldo and Messi and effectively having them on the same team I feel like from Mbappe's perspective and from Holland's perspective it would be the best team in the world by a country mile but at the same time you would be in a position where you're always, whoever is performing better is in the other shadow. Um, playing under Pep would be really cool for Mbappe as well. I could only imagine he would want to play for a coach that has won as much as Pep has. But at the same time, that kind of dynamism, I guess, that comes with having the two biggest attacking talents in world football at the club, uh, I think it would cause heads to butt, and I think that Mbappe, from a narrative perspective, just wouldn't want that to be the case. He wouldn't want for his biggest, you know, kind of rival for the Ballon d'Or to be his teammate. Um, I think that would just kind of piss everybody off internally, besides Pep and like everyone else at the club. But like Holland and Mbappe and at their camps, it would just cause so much tension. I don't think anyone really wants that. Furthermore, uh. Liverpool, not going to happen. Not going to happen. I'm a Liverpool fan. I've been seeing a ton of Liverpool fans online um, just kind of saying stuff. Let me... Like this guy, Ivan, not going to happen, bro. I don't know if Ivan is like one of those ITK guys, but it's not going to happen. Uh saying they're in direct communication with PSG, inquiring about the details of signing Kylian Mbappe. Like, what is this tag up here? Barlebo FC, never heard of Barlebo. Maybe they're reliable, but doubt it happens in a trillion years, ever. 
It's just not going to happen. If it does happen, I'm going to lose my cool. I think I already said I'm going to eat a hot pepper in a previous um, But with Real Madrid's wage structure, they have a lot of people earning a lot of money. Sorry that this is in dollars. I don't know how to switch it over. Um, be somewhere here. Okay, so I could see wages. So highest earner is David Alaba at 360000 The projected kind of um, total, let's say, upper limit for an Mbappe salary is estimated to be at Real Madrid somewhere around five hundred to $600,000. Um, maybe it's more. Maybe they offer him 700,000 pounds a week, which would be closer to something like, I don't know, Eight hundred, nine hundred thousand um, dollars, which, if you see this wage structure, would take this whole thing up from two hundred twenty-two, two hundred twenty-nine million. My apologies, misread that. Two hundred twenty-nine million, effectively, almost two hundred thirty million in USD. To, I don't even know. Let's uh, pull out the calculator. So Mbappe, let's say he's got, I don't know. Let's just do 500,000, lower limit. So upper limit, let's say 700,000 pounds a week. Uh, lower limit is 500,000 pounds a week, which I would assume Mbappe has probably agreed to already with Madrid. But you multiply that by 52, 26 mil, um, 26 million uh pounds yeah so it would take it up to 200 million pounds roughly give or take um a little bit more uh it would be probably like a 300 million dollar uh wage bill per year and i don't know what that kind of translates to because uh if you don't know or if you're not aware la liga has an internal kind of assessment of each team's wage structure and their wage bill and basically at the at a certain point in the season they have to sell on some players um i don't know when that's coming up and based on the extensions of tony cruz luka modric um you have kamavinga extending as well uh one would assume that these players wouldn't go should kind of uh salary space be cleared up for mbappe to arrive so Tony Cruz, Luka Modric, almost guaranteed to not leave. I would be highly, highly, highly shocked. Thibaut Courtois, I'd say, is nailed on, never going to leave. Um, Vinny, never going to leave. Rudiger, probably never going to leave, but maybe. Uh, Eder Militao, also probably not going to leave. Uh, Ferlin Mendy and Donny Carvajal. Donny Carvajal, maybe, but I doubt it. Nacho, maybe, but I doubt it. Rodrigo, doubt it. Severely doubt it after last season. The Bios could leave. Tamavinga not leaving. Uh, Chuameni, I'd say he's the biggest kind of like outline here of a player who could potentially leave, who Real Madrid could use those kind of cleared up salary uh, that is going towards his contract currently those cleared up wages basically take those wages and put it towards mbappe and kind of stay within regulation of la liga um fede for those wages never going to leave highly highly doubt it um but you never know um and besides liverpool besides man city there's only one other place that i really think has a outside chance of happening and it's the darkest timeline um what happens when with the current situation that's happening with saudi arabia the amount of money cash flow that's going into that league what happens when Kylian mbappe gets say a billion 
pound contract or something outrageous like that. Some ridiculous, ridiculous amount of money. More money than he could ever make at Madrid for a decade. What happens when he gets that wage offer from, say, Al Halal? I'm just genuinely asking because if that were to happen, I think he goes. I think he says, you know what? I'm going to be the face of, you know, football in Saudi Arabia and globally. And I'm going to play in a league where he's going to tear it to shreds. He'll break all sorts of club scoring records. I would only assume um, he's going to be able to play at a team that, you know, will continue to attract high quality players, players who can deliver a certain kind of quality that Mbappe would need to thrive in that league will continue to come. And one would assume that with a team like Al-Halal, they kind of need someone up top. So that is like never going to happen as well, I don't think. Um, I think he is going to Real Madrid. That will more than likely be his next club. That is my guess. So comment below, do you think Real Madrid will buy Mbappe this summer? I think he's going to leave for Real Madrid, but also let me know, do you think he'll end up at a different club after leaving PS? Do you think it's a team like, say, City or Al-Halal or maybe Liverpool? You know, are you really that, like, out there as a Liverpool fan to think that he will sign? But regardless, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you for making it all the way to the end of the video. Give the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe for more football news, transfer content, and more exciting stuff on the way. Stay tuned for Sunday. I have a big, big surprise. Thank you guys so much. I'm Sideline Sado. Peace.